So 2013 started with a probability question and you're given these explain the following term type questions which a lot of math students really hate. Well, let's think about it. What is a sample space here? If we do a sample space for two dice, let's say it looks something along these lines here and we have all this thing, these values here, we're gonna fill out in the middle. So our sample space is the list in the middle there of all possible outcomes. I think that's the best way to describe it. Mutually exclusive events. Well, that kind of explains itself. So mutually exclusive means they have nothing in common. So zero, this is a null set in the middle here. So and this is A and this is B, they have nothing in common. There's nothing in the middle here. So we could actually say the probability of A, this is how you would show it, plus the probability of B is the union. The probability of A union B because there's nothing in the middle to add. So they have no, nothing in common, or no, if you wanted to get rid of the, keep the same language using no outcomes in common. And then independent events are not dependent on each other. So like a king and a, a dice being thrown, they're independent events. So independent events, not dependent on the outcome of one another. And that's where the probability of A by the probability of B is equal to the probability of A intersection B or the probability of A given B is equal to it's equal to the probability of A because the probability of A given B is equal to the probability of A intersection B over the probability of B. And if we look at the independent events here, A by B, probability of A, probability of B is equal to the probability of A intersection B. We can see here that for this, these independent events to be true, if we divide this by the probability of B here, you can see that we're gonna get the probability of A is equal to the probability of A intersection B over the probability of B, which is the probability of A given B, so the connection between um, conditional probability and independent events. Okay, second part of this question, not too bad. In a class of 30 students, so U equals 30. 20 study physics equals 20. Six study biology equals six, and four study both physics and biology. I believe this is a leaving cert question. Leaving two and leaving 16. And we have 22 inside the circles, which leaves eight. By calculating probabilities, investigate if E and F are independent. Okay, well, we need to, if they're independent, the probability of E by the probability of F is equal to the probability of E intersection F. So the probability of E, which is physics, is 20 over 30, or two over three. The probability of F, which is biology, is four and two, six over 30. I'll leave it at that, we could write one over five. One over five. Two by one on top is two, and three by five on the bottom is 15. Now, is that equal to four over 30? And you can see that it is two over 15 equals two over 15, therefore independent.